Hello everyone, Oscar Hotel 8 Golf Echo Juliet from MAM Portable and QRP. Today I'll be bringing you the results of the 30 meter whisper test with the ATX walkabout and the FT817 from Yezu. So no preheating guys, I'll just jump right into it. So between 10.30 and 11 UTC, I set up the station in the garden like I've done for 10 meters and 17 meters. I tried to manage the video, but it was really tough. It's cold and windy, and uh, it's just difficult to work with the camera equipment. So we'll have to do this in presentation mode with the screenshots again. As with previous tests, I went through 5 watts, 2 watts, 1 watt, and then half watt. And then I repeated that once again. Well, if you've watched the other videos in this series, something should be jumping out at you right now. The question that comes to my mind when I look at the results is, okay, yes, uh, I'm covering all of Scandinavia, that's fine. But uh, is the range limited because the antenna is so short and inefficient on 30 meters? Or does the ATX walkabout generally become more inefficient as we go into the top bands? I might have to extend the test because I'd really like to know the answer to those questions. I mean, clearly 10 meters was magnificent. Output power versus range isn't bad at all. Well, actually, guys, the more that I use this antenna, the more questions that I have. I'm not unhappy with it, though. So, of course, it's not going to replace my infets, yeah? But it's still a very good compromise, or it appears to be a very good compromise antenna. All right, everyone, next test on 40 meters. I'll try to get to that as soon as I can. And maybe we're going to jump up to 80 meters as well and extend the test a little bit. Thumbs up and share, please. Rock and roll. We'll see you next time. 73 and good DX.